I will be speaking you know, briefly on some of the conceptual issues. But before that, just a personal point. I myself, I am a devout, devout atheist and a militant, militant pacifist. Uh, it's, of course, a juxtaposition, contradiction, I know, but that's a way of living. I'm a human rights activist myself, and I have the, even though I'm a devout atheist, I have the highest respect for all religions. Uh, my, my wife, Donna, she's a practicing Buddhist, and uh, she's a very popular Buddhist teacher as well. So I'm very much into human rights and religion on all fronts, you know, local fronts, global fronts, as well as on the home front. Okay, so the conceptual issues, it's important to sort them out a bit because so often we get into practical problems because the conceptual issues are not quite made clear. So let me talk a tiny bit about human rights, some of the foundational conceptual fundamental issues. Human rights by nature are universal because of course humans are humans all over. Human rights are universal. But if we simply focus on the universal side of human rights, then it ends up being quite abstract, if not vacuous and often moralistic. So we have to make universal human rights to make, give it some you know, substance, we have to make it contextual. But the danger of making it contextual is that you, it could end up being relativistic, which we need to avoid. So human rights mm, issues, uh, they have to constantly uh, deal with this balancing act between uh, being vacuous on the one hand and being relativistic on the other. But that also is its charm because that keeps it quite lively and keeps it quite alive. Now, so enhancing rights, uh, human rights, uh, means of course we have to see that we enhance agency, equality and identity and all that. But equality should be guided by what we call equity, justice, because often there are conflicting rights. And so justice has to be brought in to mediate between rights. So human rights are almost meaningless without the corresponding issue of justice. So justice and rights, they have to go together. And here again, we see a balancing act. So that just shows how dynamic uh, human rights are. They are in a perpetual state of flux and that makes, it, makes, makes them alive. Okay, when it comes to religious freedom, I would like to get into some of the basic conceptual issues. Basically, there are three types of religious freedom. It's freedom of and freedom from and freedom in. Freedom of religion, that's the freedom of practicing religion, being comfortable as you practice religion in uh, private, of course, in your privacy of home and also in the public space. And also freedom from, that's a very important concept of religious freedom that is so often, uh, in fact, routinely that's overlooked. Freedom from religion is a vital issue. Without that, we cannot think of a full-fledged idea of religious freedom because then we always get this persecuted minority who are not minority these days. In fact, that number is growing, those who are atheists and those who are secular humanists and those folks. And the freedom in religion, that's also another important aspect of religious freedom because so often we find that, uh, that, that religious folks are defined by their groups. Uh, that's quite mm, a way, sure way to violate the human rights because there are complexities of groups and there are groups within groups. And so freedom in religion also is extremely important and there should be freedom to practice religion within a particular tradition without being interfered, okay? So there again, we find these corresponding variations in human rights when it comes to religious freedom. So rights and equity, rights and justice, that's also a balancing act when it comes to religious freedom. And so these issues become more pronounced when we talk about the public space, because in, in your privacy, whatever you practice, that's your business. But in public space, when these things are brought in, then naturally what happens when it comes to religion, of course, that these issues come up and well, there are issues of justice then that gets quite pronounced. So what sort of a society do we need that can be mindful of justice? Well, when it comes to a government uh, giving uh, 
uh, the 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 uh, putting into focus uh, the uh, values that we uh, uh, live by. It has to be a pluralistic, pluralistic liberal democracy. Yeah, that's where we find the best uh, example of uh, of of this uh, these uh, these these competing claims. Uh, played out in practice in the public space. So these are the conceptual issues. Uh, of course, the huge uh, issues come in when you put these things into practice. That, of course, I don't have the time to talk about now, uh, but hopefully during the Q&A, some of that may come up. Thank you.